What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Cruise the Moose Tuesday night. Look at this place. It is jam packed. First sunny night, you know, the last two weeks it was a little bit rainy out, uh, but it is insane now that this, this weather came out. It's, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to get around and show you all these cars out here. So uh, before anything, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the channel. And then uh, also, again, we're doing a DVD at the end of the year. You can sign up for that at the registration booth. You can pay for that at the registration booth. You can also email me, dom at drd-photos.com, and I'll get back to you on the pricing and all that. Uh, Pre-orders, $10. Uh, after September, it'll be, I think, 12 or 15, somewhere in there. But uh, anyway, let's uh, get going on the uh, cars here, because I think you're going to like what we got tonight. So yesterday was Memorial Day. And uh, one of the guys out here that is always representing is uh, Brian with his truck here. It is wrapped, as you can see. And they have uh, a couple guys out here representing armed forces, flying old glory. Pretty cool looking. Super Snake Sport. Can't say I've ever seen one of these. What's your name? Where are you from? Dennis Burke from uh, Angleside. What uh, did you bring out here today? I just brought this out. Uh, it's kind of my toy ride, you know. Inside here, what do we got for a small block? 327. It's 327? actually an old Corvette motor, 1965 vet. It was uh, 365 horse when it was born. Probably around about 400 now. What else got you got done with turbo the turbo in there and uh, got a nine inch Moser rear end. Leaf spring still. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What uh, what else you got done here? I can see it's a uh, nice fresh paint on this thing, or at least it looks fresh enough. Yeah, the paint's about uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, the paint's almost sixteen years old. Well it looks really good. It's yeah. cleans up well. It cleans up real well. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. It's just a nice little truck just to have fun with. Right? Yeah, yeah. Come to, come to a car show. <laughs> well, I appreciate your time. Thanks for telling me about your vehicle. Oh, you're welcome. It's not a truck in the sense that uh, it's titled as a truck, but you know, it is heavy, especially with this rear window. This is a 87 Aero Coupe. They made about 6,000 of these in 87, 286. So somewhat rare vehicle. Kind of cool to see it out. Don't see a lot of them uh, these days.
thing's pretty cool. I have uh, love for these type of trucks, the, the fenders and everything on them. I just really like the old design of the uh, mid to late 30s Fords and uh, some of the Chevys. They're just classic, awesome hot rods. Nice square body. Is that yours? Sure is. Big truck. What year is this thing? 82. 82. C20? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Old work truck. <laughs> What's up, puppers? Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh. Up the lens oh. <laughs> Not camera shy. <laughs> Check this out. It's a 1928 International fire truck. This uh, little thing over here says it's the second original fire truck for Richmond Fire Department, which Richmond is uh, just a couple towns over. So this thing's been in the area for almost 100 years. This thing is pretty neat. It's in uh, really good condition for being that old. Some consider this a car, some consider it a truck. Chevy called it an El Camino. This is Joe's car. He's one of the organizers of this whole deal here. Grateful to have him putting this stuff on. Known him for a real long time through the Streeters Car Club. Real good guy. There would not be a lot going on around here without him. This is Rick's Ranger. Well, you don't see a lot of Rangers out, but really don't see a lot of Stepside Rangers out, especially done up like this. It's uh, mini truck-esque. For those of you that like that stuff, I know there's quite a big fan base coming back on these things. Check this out, it's a power wagon. You know, an old utilitarian farm truck turned uh, show truck at this point. Very nice, very big. A couple miles of paint. It says it's a 1947. Looks like it's got a small block in it. AC. T buckets out here. This is Todd's. You have seen his Nova in the past. Uh, he decided to bring out his T bucket, which he's had for a really long time. 
and uh, doesn't drive it often enough. So we thought he'd bring it out tonight uh, while his Nova is awaiting a new motor. And to accompany him, he's got uh, this guy over here with the Hemi T. So this one's built quite differently, much bigger motor, much bigger everything. You keeping cool in the shade? Yeah. Oh, of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> You're so tiny. You're so tiny. You're so tiny. <laughs> You don't see a lot of exotics coming out here, so this is a, a nice addition. It's a V10 Audi R8. Uh, aside from the V10 badges, you can see here, I think that's what this carbon fiber means, is it's a V10, the V8s are just painted. that's gonna do it for tonight we're gonna get on out of here hopefully you guys like the content that I'm bringing you if you do again hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment below we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching